In my garden, I would grow mangoes and oranges. In my garden, I would grow sunflowers. I would grow in my garden flowers and vegetables. In my garden, I would grow tomatoes, lettuce, and broccoli. Maybe we will plant our own garden. My grandparents were farmers, and so I would spend the summers with them, and they always had huge gardens. And so part of what I did when I was with them was help with the gardens, and we'd go out and pick things and pull the weeds and water. And so I learned a lot about gardening from my grandparents. A lot of my friends and neighbors liked gardening, and so we kind of wanted to be able to garden together. And a lot of us who love gardening find that our yards are not big enough to do all of the gardening we would like. So we'd like extra garden space. Or like my yard is all shade, so it doesn't grow vegetables very well because you need sun for vegetables. So this gave me a great chance to find another sunny spot where I could grow um, vegetables that I can't grow at my own house. And then also just knowing that um, we could take a place that's sort of nothing and turn it into something beautiful that's right in my neighborhood. I live just a couple blocks away. Um, so to make a beautiful place for me and for my kids and for my neighbors to enjoy, um, I, I love that idea too. We wanted to know about gardens on the east side. We wanted to know who had gardens and what kind of gardens they had. We wanted to know who had gardens in the past. We wanted to know what they grew and how they grew it. We learned that there are many types of gardens on the east side. Welcome to Phelan Community Garden. This is part of District 2 Community Council's three community gardens that we have. And this community garden here uh, was established in 1996 with a lot of the residents of Roosevelt um, uh, Public Housing here, a lot of the elders. And uh, they have no yard, and they went to garden, and most of them are Hmong elders. And so when uh, the armory, National Guard armories here, have this place, all it was was just a Dumps field with of trash. Sofas, beds, mattresses, tires, trash, loads and loads and loads were pulled and hauled out of here uh, back then. And so when they cleared the ground, uh, they brought in soil. So there, there, uh, there, there are 53 plots. So 53 elder, uh, mostly elder seniors, come in here and they grow uh, food that they like to eat in the traditional Hmong uh, culture that they like to grow. Look at these beautiful big cabbages. This garden here do not have water access. There is no hose here, so all of the elder um, gardeners uh, have to carry the water from their home as close as across the street and as far as a mile away. And in the garden here, everything is used and recycled. This is a a gate, you know, from a baby's crib. Look here. Look at this beautiful bamboo uh, for steak and post. So things are being recycled here in this garden. Well, we have seven gardens throughout the east side of um, St. Paul. Um, well, in the gardens, we usually weed, take out weeds. Um, we water the plants and on Thursdays, we harvest for CSA. We have people to sign up to be a um, member, and then on um, every Thursday, we would bag um, our vegetables fresh from um, our gardens. Our parents seem to know the seasons. In the spring, they couldn't wait to pick the early dandelions, the early asparagus, the rub. In the summer, they enjoyed working in their gardens. In the fall, there was mushrooms to find and can canning to do. Zucchini, green beans, pickles, tomatoes, peppers, and eggplant to put up. When we were children, most of the Italians got railroad ties for that asking, and almost every family saw the ties and chopped them and piled them in the neat piles in the basement of their homes. We never suffered from the cold. I can remember in the fall of the year the contended look on their face as the Italian parents is as they su surveyed the rows of piled wood. The shelves 
of the basement nearly full of canned goods, the potato bins filled to capacity in times, fresh homemade sausages hanging in the attic to dry. They took pride in the fact that the vegetables canned it had been grown in their own little gardens.